Wow, welcome back, my fabulous podcast family and friends. I am excited that you are taking time to listen to this podcast. You know, with every podcast, I'm always praying and believing that these podcasts will build you tough as nails, that you will gain confidence, boldness, you'll become fierce. I want you to evolve into a strong individual that no matter what storm hits, this too shall pass. All right, let's get started. Let's grow. Remember, you don't lose. You always win. I'm going to talk about a topic that probably a lot of us say, I don't have the patience to wait. Psalms 27, 14. As we get started, all of you, Lord, and none of me, in your name we pray. Amen. Psalms 27 talks about that. Psalms 27, 14, it states, Wait patiently for the Lord. Oh, I don't want to wait. I want it now. How many of us have been there? Okay, maybe it's just me. But some of us and most of us have been there. We don't want to wait. We don't want to go through the process. We don't want to. We just sit with the questions and wanting it to happen and and why it happened. But the scripture goes on to say, wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Let me tell you that the praise that counts the most is the praise that comes from the furnace. The praise that counts the most is the one when we are in the middle of the process. Process. It might take one day, maybe a week, maybe six weeks. In the middle of those six weeks, it's like, ah, I'm so limited. I'm frustrated. I need answers. I'm done with this. And then there's days I'm sad. I can't take it anymore. Wait patiently. Waiting is your praise in that furnace. You might be going through a thing or two and you're listening to this podcast. You might feel heavy and tired and depressed and discouraged. You might have been let down or maybe rejected. But praise of afflictions, the praise of barrenness, produces a cry that gets God's attention. You got God's attention. You got to watch out for God when life doesn't seem fair. Well, Jackie, how do you give me, give me an example of someone. Well, let's talk about Joseph. He did not know what God had for him. He was sold into slavery thrown into a pit. He, they, they slandered and lied and, and he was thrown into this, but he didn't know that he was going to be elevated or escalated or evolved into being this uh, important person in a kingdom. He didn't know beforehand. He was just going through the process. He did not know what God had for him. The same for you, the same for me. God We don't know what God has for us, but we are there and we're waiting and waiting. And sometimes the waiting can be so frustrating. Joseph didn't even realize he was about to enter a a pit time, meaning he was going to be thrown into the pit. You know his story. He was going to be thrown into the pit. Joseph didn't know that. We probably don't know that. But what did Joseph do? He had time for a pit time praise. You got to have that pit time praise. You, you got to find yourself. You know what? I'm in a pit right now. I'm in a process right now, but I'm going to find a praise, right? You have to see it as a pit time or a process praise. You're only being developed. You're developing patience during that process. You're developing patience during that pit time. You need to learn to wait on the Lord. I, I'm speaking from experience, waiting is a process. And in the midst of that process, developing patience, developing a pit time or a process praise is what's going to give us that courage and that strength 
for us to wait on the Lord. You have to trust him. He only left you there so that he can bless you coming out. That's the way I see it. I am in this process and I feel like I'm left, but he only left me here because he's going to bless me coming out. So just like Joseph, I know they beat you. I know they betrayed you. I know they ripped you off. I know you're hurting. I know you're worried. I know they lied about you. I know the storm is getting stronger, but trust the Lord and wait on him. You got to rise up with the authority that's inside of you and say, devil, I can't get out, but I'm waiting. I don't know what to do, but I'm waiting. I may not see the manifestation of my healing, but I'm waiting. I don't know where, but I'm waiting. I may not see improvement in my son or in my daughter, but I'm waiting. That's the story of my life, Pastor. How did you know that's the story of my life? But I'm waiting. Stand to believe, to see the goodness of God take over your life. No matter what comes your way, let this take root. You've got to believe you're going to see God turn it around. You've got to believe that you're going to see God open new doors right now. See, you got to believe to see when you feel like you're dying, you got to talk about living Some of us just keep, you know, we feel like we're just in a rut and we keep talking about the same thing over and over and over. It becomes negative. No, you do the opposite. If you don't feel right, you start talking about living. If you feel like you're dying, you talk about your living. When you don't feel like, when you feel like you're giving up, you got to talk about pressing forward. When you don't see any way out, you got to talk about how can, how God can make a way out. So my encouragement for you is that, you know what, Lord? I'm going to wait. I am brave. I am courageous. I know it's a process. I am going to wait because God, you're going to make a way. All right. Well, I'm Jacqueline Becerra and thank you so much for listening to me today. And I will see you on the next episode.